Yep. 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 What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little bit of firewood going on here. I've been over at my buddy, my neighbor's house, Kevin. Uh, we've been doing a lot of cleanup over here. He did most of it while I was gone with the bobcat behind me. Um, but he fell like, I don't know, four or five trees. And um, I told him I wanted the firewood. So uh, we're cutting them up in the 12 foot. We're going to try to load up and back to the trailer. And uh, we'll be you guys on today. So stay tuned and see what's going on. We're going to tip to load all these in there.
load of birch. It's gonna be firewood. So we brought it up here to the homestead. I'm gonna drop it off right here. There's some deer right over there. I can see its tail right there. They were just on the other side of the road. Matt. <laughs> right there, see its tail flickering? A, little, uh, a couple little fawn twins. You guys, I'm gonna drop this off here because I got some other ones that we got pushed over that we're gonna cut up into firewood also. I'll bring my wood splitter, <coughs> wood splitter up here. And I want to show you guys this, what we're doing today. Uh, my buddy Kevin, my neighbor, um, he cut a bunch of trees down in his yard. And um, he asked if I, he goes, I need help. Dutch. So I brought over the, the bobcat and um, with the grapple, we got limbed out. He did most of the cutting. I did a lot of pushing. Then I left it over there for him um, all day yesterday. He did, he pretty much got it all cleared while I was gone. Um, but in return, he gave me all this wood right here um, for firewood. So me and Bo are wanting to start selling some firewood also. Um, get the girls out here and his kids will help them out there. Um, but we're wanting to sell a little bit here and there. Um, we'll just split it and um, see what we do, end up doing with it. If we let it sit for seasoned wood for next year or if we sell it as green wood. We'll just wait and see. Yep, there we go. Let me drop this off and go back and get one more load. I'm telling you what, this uh, dump trailer has come in handy. I'm using it all the time. I'll dump it, then I'll have to pull the trailer for it, obviously, to get it all out. There we go. First load down. All right. Lower it, get these gates closed, and we'll head back over there. Okay. We are down here at the creek. Um, you guys see I did some woodworking uh, as far as loading wood up and take to the house. Me and Randy, the carpenter over here, we have... Take, we're going to take the bobcat out in the woods. He's loaded up with the chainsaw. What's up, Randy? He's going to be running the uh, ranger today. Um, I'm going to unload this, and we're going to head across the creek and try to get the trail cleared. So, day two of this video, we got, I, I can't get that um, trail cleared by myself. It's just too dangerous. Uh, so, I got Randy Carpenter out here. We're going to go out there. There's two spots that oh, I'm going to try to get done. The first one we're going to go to is going to be way back in the back. I need to get it first because then I can get access to our hunting spot. And the second one, if we got time today, we're gonna try to clear it too. So I'll bring you guys along. I got my GoPro um, here. I'll set it up on the Bobcat or something, show you guys doing a little work and um, we'll see what we can get into today. You never know out here at the Creek property. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and I might go home in a little while and split some of that wood. So stay tuned. Okay, now this is the one I need Randy's help with. This is the big one. Here's the big one, Randy. So, huh? Yeah. So what I might do is might delimit it a little bit here and then make some cuts. 
I'm just not sure it's so big I need to make some cuts in it and then get the forks or the um, claw up underneath there and, and try to support it some so I'll cut on it a little bit first Randy okay. and then we'll kind of just see what we need to do with the with the um, bobcat you can see how far back we are, huh? Way yeah. back in here. I didn't want to do this and get hurt. There's big bucks over here. Huh? Big old giant bucks live over here. Yeah, right through there. I didn't get to mow this yet. Look at this, guys. Boy, that's tall, though, Randy. Think there's anything living in it? it sure. <laughs> that's crazy. Over there, too, there might be some flying squirrels. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it and then cut it again. I thought this might be good, some good firewood for the camp, but we'll know, we'll know where it's at. We want to get in and get out of here just because uh, deer season starts today, and I don't want to put too much pressure on back here, but... This has to be done. All right, I'm gonna get busy, Randy. I'm gonna cut some more. Well, wasn't expecting this. This is right where we hunt at. Here comes Randy. So, 
I didn't know these were down. So now we're gonna have to get these out of the way, at least because the trail goes through right here and these deer are not using this, I promise you that, they're going around. So I think once we get this cleared, they'll start using this path again, hopefully. We got more trees down. We gotta watch out for timber rattlers, pygmy rattlers, and copperheads. Yeah, just a second, Randy. Hey, good job. Good job. We got back here, didn't we? We're back here. That was crazy. It's beautiful. Hey, you, you, what'd you say? This has probably got some big bucks back here. Spot. All the fingers that come down through here. All so we meet right here. all meet right here in the middle. That's the first thing when I came across this property, like this part during the yeah. fall. I was like, there's got to be some big deer back here. Absolutely. We've killed two nice bucks. Look at that woodpecker house up there. See it? Uh -huh. The woodpecker house. Okay, so I'm gonna put my, um, I got a, a mineral lick. I didn't bring any corn with me. I forgot all about it somehow. Uh, I'm gonna put the mineral lick right here. I'm gonna go ahead and set my camera up. But you can see the blind, that blind is destroyed. Um, I left all my blinds out here, just never made it back out here. So, uh, but we're gonna actually get, we got some good, good blinds coming, like heavy duty ones. So I'll be showing you guys a video of setting, come back here and setting one up, probably in that same spot. Um, but it's going to be elevated and they're going to last for years um, but this is where the big bucks come the one hadley shot last year we watched it come right down the side of this hill it came right down through here right up there and Hadley shot it and then the one buck or the one buck the one bow shot he was sitting that blind 
That big buck came right through where Randy's at. It crossed right in front of there, and he shot it right there. And it was a nice, I think, 11 point, probably 150, uh, 155 inch. Nice buck. Um, but we don't want to spend too much time out here, but I wanted to bring you guys along. Um, I'm probably going to come out here one more time before season or before we actually hunt it. Put a feeder out here and the big blind. So I'm going to stay out of here until I get my blinds in because we're going to set them up and then we're going to get out of here. I think last year we was excited. We wanted to check cameras and we put a lot of pressure on the deer back here. Even though we had good activity back here, still had a lot of pressure. And we're changing things up across the property too. The pressure is going to be minimal um, during hunting season for sure. Um, so I'm going to set everything up and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay, I got the mineral lick right there. It's actually a salt lick. Got the camera set up. And I know these bucks come from this way, um, but I just got a better shot coming right through here. And um, I might go ahead and just grab that blind with my bobcat as we get out of here. I'm gonna Randy went ahead and pushed forward and meet up with him. And um, yeah, I think we're going to be done out here today. Next time we come out here, um, hopefully you're going to be putting the big uh, new blind up. I'm excited for that. And I'll share that with you guys. But let's get out of here. Let's get the pressure out of here. And uh, let's go back up and probably meet you guys back up at the house. I think this is going to be a good year. And it's thick back in here. And we left it thick like this for a reason. This is the big bucks. Don't feel the pressure on here. If we went through here and just started clearing a lot of this, the bucks would kind of just disappear. And they would probably just come in nocturnal. They don't feel safe. Right now it's so thick, they feel safe. We haven't done a lot in here other than this little spot right here. Like we, the bucks have to get in within like anywhere, a good shot would be 30 yards. We do have a couple spots that we could probably shoot about 60 yards or so, but not very many. It's limited. That's why we use that mineral lick and, and corn to give the kids a better chance. It's legal here in Oklahoma. And if it's legal to do, we're going to do it. Okay. So let's get out of here. We got a way we can, we got a way we can get back in here and, and hunt. So that's their bedding area up there. We try to stay away from there now. We've learned some lessons on, on this property when it comes to hunting.